up everybody uh so today i want to talk about spider woman so i just picked up this trade last week and um i also picked up uh, the single issues so you kind of already know if i picked up the single issues i enjoyed the hell out of this book and i did uh this was this was awesome um i knew nothing about spider woman jessica drew her origins um this was kind of like my first introduction to the character and uh dennis hopeless and javier rodriguez are is the creative team on this book they're also the creative team on the the on basically the the new series and um they hit it out of the park for me um it basically it collects issues five to ten and in those issues, I just, I felt like I knew a lot about um, Jessica Drew as a person and also Spider-Woman. Um, <clears throat> you know, her different qualities, her being, <laughs> her being kind of brash and just, just gung-ho and, you know, just doesn't give two nothings about anything. And, um, you know, and uh, basically... The story in this book um, was, I think it was really well done. Uh, you know, we, we follow um, Jessica Drew and Ben Urich um, basically trying to solve this missing persons case that, um, that's been going on for quite a while. And uh, we meet uh, a lot of C-list, even D-list villains. Um, we even uh, meet one third of the team spider woman uh his name is roger i think his villain name was like porcupine um so just the banter uh between those three uh those three characters in creating team spider woman was just was just really really fun uh really fun to read um and as this case goes along it just gets um you know that it, it kind of gets serious um and Basically, they find the missing person. They find all the missing people in one area, and um, the the kind of story behind that is, um, you know, it's it's very real. Um, and uh, the villain, uh, Lady Caterpillar, uh, just goes through goes through an ordeal that kind of makes her do what she did, and uh, I, I I felt sympathetic for her, and. Um, you know, just, it, it, it just uh, has all the elements of a great story. Um, and also the art is just, uh, it's really well done. Um, you know, you know, not only Javier, um, you know, the panel layouts, um, Javier just his pencils, but also the colors as well. It's very, it's a very colorful book. Um, the covers are, are awesome as well. And, um, you know, you just really get all phases of, of, of Spider-Woman, you know, her being brash, but also being caring as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's just a fun story. Like I picked up this book and I just read it all the way through. Um, and I didn't stop and, uh, I wanted more. Uh, so I collected the single issues. I got, the, I got the first two issues with the trade just in case if I really enjoyed it. Uh, have these two to fall back on um, so yeah we're gonna talk about the single issues right now so basically uh, I got all four issues um, I'm missing issue three um, but I actually went to comiXology and read that um, because like the trade I I mean this was you know just as good as the trade or even a little bit better um, basically spider-woman uh, Jessica Drew is pregnant and we don't know who the father is and um, it wasn't really these first four issues wasn't really ab about finding who's the father it was just kind of her just being a superhero while being pregnant and um, just kind of just just going with emotions um, <clears throat> and like the first issue uh, Ben Eric and um, Roger was basically uh, you know, taking the helm while Spider-Woman's just kind of being, um, 
uh, just kind of being sidelined because, you know, she's pregnant. And, um, you know, we have appearance by Captain Marvel. Basically, uh, she's kind of in all four issues uh, and tells Spider-Woman, hey, there's this hospital fully paid for, fully ex um, <clears throat> just paid for, everything's all good. Just go in there and, you know, we'll help deliver the baby and take care of it. And um, basically, once she gets to the, uh, <laughs> once she gets to the hospital, all hell breaks loose, and basically the scrolls have taken over the hospital um, because um, there's someone that they want there. And uh, the way Dennis Hopeless and Javier Rodriguez write this storyline, I mean, I, I enjoyed this. I mean, I enjoyed this more than the trade. Uh, and I mean, I I enjoyed all of it, but just this right here. I mean, issue four had an awesome payoff um, and uh, it was really cool and actually in the back matter um, I didn't know this but Dennis Hopeless and Javier Rodriguez are, are uh, just became fathers um, they just got their you know um, they recently uh, had a child and um, this story was kind of personal to them and just that just kind of added a touch to this storyline um, <clears throat> And um, they just know. I mean, they're just firing on all cylinders on this book. And um, yeah, I mean, I can't wait. I, this is definitely going on my poll. Um, and uh, I hope you guys, you know, give it a shot. I mean, uh, you don't even need to get the trade. Just just jump right on to Spider Woman number one um, and just check it out. If you go to your store and, and find the trade, read that too it's all of it is just really good stuff and i hope this creative team stays on the book um because i mean i think you know with g willow wilson and miss marvel um that sort of connection dennis hopeless and javier rodriguez kind of have this with spider woman um they kind of have i don't know there's some sort of connection with the character and that there's just they're they're just you know um, they're just firing on all cylinders. They're, you know, every issue was so engaging, um, so funny. <sighs> they even, <laughs> they still make fun of the butt joke, like the, the, the cover, the butt cover. Um, <laughs> especially like, I think it was in, uh, I think it was in issue, uh, issue three, I think. I think it was issue three or four. Uh, that um, the person that we're trying to look for um, or the scrolls are trying to look for makes a comment um, uh, about the, the butt joke with Spider-Woman um, as they're trying to escape and it was just hilarious um, so yeah um, that's that's basically it I just wanted to kind of get this out of my system I, I really enjoy Spider-Woman it's just uh, I don't know I, I hope more people are reading it I hope um, Anyone who watches this video um, kind of gets, you know, um, kind of gets an itch to kind of check it out as well. Um, and it, it's just something different. And uh, it's very much a superhero book, but also has that human element to it um, that just makes it, that just makes it even better. Uh, so that's it, guys. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you're reading Spider-Woman, if you like it, if you don't like it. Um, and we'll kind of discuss there. Um, and thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate the support. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.